Good morning, viewers. <clears throat> Got a couple adjustments to make on the laser this morning. It's a uh, whopping 21 degrees out. <clears throat> I'm riding a little bit high with my laser. Got to drop it down just a little bit. So we're going to make a couple adjustments. Woodmiser has a instruction on how to accomplish this the quickest way so i've got a can on the mill make a cut bring it back without bringing the head up and we'll uh get this thing dialed in i don't like it to be an eighth off so i'll put this back on the tripod do a little bit of a time lapse Then we'll get cutting the rest of these glue lambs down. I need to make these five and a half inch glue lambs into five and an eighth. So that's what I'll be doing for a little bit. Then we'll start putting them together. Bear with me. Okay, that was kind of painful. Those were five and a half inch glue lambs, 21 and 18 inch widths needed to be ripped down to five and an eighth roughly. I used, well, hello Lily, say hello girl, hello girl, coming out to say hi. <clears throat> Mother must be home. Good. So yeah, <clears throat> I started out with some 10 degree double hards, which lasted for not quite, oh, just under 50 lineal feet. Swapped out to a carbide band, made all the difference in the world. <clears throat> made sure I ran plenty of lube. Let's look at the blade real quick. Looks awesome. Super hard material. They are built with uh, when they're built, they're used, they use a clay in the glue. So takes a toll on bends rather quickly. Had to do a quick adjustment on the laser this morning. I had pulled the cap off it a couple days ago and didn't realize that I had moved it roughly a strong quarter of an inch off so just that quick and went to cutting <clears throat> let's uh take these around the front of the garage get them in the garage and start assembling 